there's no such thing as closure. Tonight, holding out hope for a convicted killer. We're learning new information about the prison attack that could have killed Paul Flores. Now, you might be surprised, but there are a lot of people happy he's still alive. The man accused of attacking Flores was just charged today after allegedly slashing his throat. Madison Keefe joining us on set now, bringing us a unique perspective from a club, Madison, no one wants to be in. Right. This is one that every parent that we talk to in these types of situations say they wish they didn't have. You know, this specific bond is between mothers whose daughters have been murdered, their bodies hidden for years, one of them still not found. What they share, like Denise Smart and Debbie Boyd, is the hope that someday they'll know the truth, but only if the killers are alive to share it. It's a torment that to me is like no other. Yeah. Debbie Boyd knows what it's like to never lose hope, believing that someone would give up where her daughter's body was buried. You know, you hold out that hope because over time, sometimes people change. People start talking to their families. Boyd spent an agonizing 15 years wondering where the man convicted of killing her daughter, Christy Wilson, hid her body. She knows what Kristen Smart's family wants is answers. Where is her body? The smarts don't have that today. Paul Flores refuses. It's horrible. Paul Flores, serving 25 to life for smarts murder, was slashed in the neck by another inmate back in August. The inmate, Jason Boudreaux, who's serving two life sentences for killing his girlfriend and his former cellmate, added to his rap sheet. He's now charged with attempted murder. We are in the unfortunate place that no parent would ever wish for. The Smarts spoke at length about being closer to closure on the Your Own Backyard podcast. Credited for igniting interest in the case, enough to get Flores to trial. And our wish would be to bury Kristen in the presence of those who love and cherish her. The very person that knows that answer is in prison today and some inmate chooses to try and take his life. Well, by doing that, he's stealing the very hope that everyone is holding out for. There's been a lot of talk about this particular attack on social media. Boyd has a unique perspective on that, that the same outrage that comes from social media of people perhaps being happy that Flores has become a victim himself should put that energy towards the justice system. As she says, look at how quickly it took to get a you know charge for that inmate in this attack, of course took more than two decades for Flores to end up on trial. So there's a lot of layers to this, especially yeah. when it comes to just wanting answers for Kristen. And the families are double victimized, too, because they go through the loss and then the uncertainty of where my loved exactly. one is, right? Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. What a different perspective on that, mm -hmm. yeah. for sure. Madison, thank you.